You're watching Tennessee Titans today. Coming up here on today's show is around the Titans' biggest winners and losers against the Atlanta Falcons in preseason week one action. Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports, ready to break it all down for you. So the biggest winner, I personally would say, the backup quarterbacks. I thought they played pretty damn well. And obviously, this is Ryan Tannehill's team. He's actually probably one of the most underappreciated quarterbacks, one of the most underappreciated players in the league. But I am going to give some love to Logan Woodside and Matt Barkley on today's episode. 10 of 15, 84 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions for Woodside. And when you talk about a quarterback battle, there is a QB battle, figuring out who's going to be that QB two behind Ryan Tannehill. Matt Barkley just recently signed about a week ago. About a week ago, 5 of 8, 54 yards, one touchdown, no interception. So the question I'm going to ask y'all is this, and I like being able to debate, and I want everyone to go down to the comments and do the exact same. Who was who was better? Like, who do you honestly believe was better? And I want you to just look at the stats, think about it. Who played better? If you think it's Logan Woodside, I want you to go down to the comment section and type LW. If you believe it's Matt Barkley, go ahead and type MB. Do you think they go ahead and end up keeping both of these quarterbacks on the roster for their 53-man? It's definitely something to keep in mind. So go down in the comments right now. Who do you think played better? All right, let's go to the next winner here. And this might have actually been the biggest winner in this game, Rashad Weaver, who is just an absolute monster. There's actually a player that I might owe an apology to because when he was first coming out of the draft, I was like, he didn't really look all that good to me. I didn't know if he was going to have that burst that you were going to need to be able to get it done in the NFL. And he was really good. Three tackles, one and a half sacks, one pass breakup. You tried to figure out how you could go ahead and improve your edge rushers. Weaver did exactly that. Let's go to the next one here. I'm going to go with Mason Kinsey, wide receiver. We've been talking about all these different receivers for who's going to go ahead and be that wide receiver three on this team. Or who's going to be the wide receiver four more likely is probably what I should have said. And he had four targets. Four catches, 51 yards. I know they're going to be looking for a more reliable receiver, and he was probably somebody that was on the roster bubble, but you know what? I like what I saw from the kid from Barry College. 5'10", 200-pounder, 22 years old, but he was a winner in today's game. All right, so sound off, y'all. Name a Titans winner versus the Atlanta Falcons. If you think there's another player that deserves some love, there was a lot of guys, but I had to pick my top three, so those are my three players. So if you disagree with them, let me know. Anytime you got winners... You know what, man? You also got losers too, right? We're not giving out participation trophies here on today's show. I'm going to throw out Des Fitzpatrick. And the reason why Des Fitzpatrick is a loser to me, when you talk about a lot of the receivers that I thought were battling for a potential spot, the only guy who didn't get any first-half action was Des Fitzpatrick. Let's go to number two here on my list. It's the offensive line, and then we're going to go right to number one as well, the tight ends. The reason why offensive line depth, I'm actually pretty confident in what Tennessee can offer for the offensive line, but the depth, when you looked at that second half, was not all that pretty to me. And then the tight end room. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but there's been a reason why we've talked about so many different tight ends potentially going to Tennessee. This might be the worst tight end room in the entire National Football League. Sure, they can block, but even that, they're average blockers at best. So if you want to go out and improve your offense with receivers that get banged up quite frequently, you might want to go out and potentially add a tight end. Those are my biggest losers. Those are my biggest winners. Let me know down in the comments section what you're thinking.